Hey everybody, welcome to Fictionology. This is Bardikins, and today we're going to be taking a look at another game. And uh, this one happens to be one of my favorite games of all time, or game series of all time, uh, Majesty. It's a game series that it was uh, published by uh, Paradox, at least the second game was. And uh, basically, the point of the game is to well it's a mixture of rts and city builder so you build cities or towns um, and train heroes but you don't actually control them they have their own personalities and you try to complete the objectives that are on that particular map and uh, there are different challenges that are thrown your way so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to jump into a new campaign this is actually like my fourth time. Ardania. Glorious Ardania. I'll be quiet. For the last five centuries, descendants of the great king have sat upon this throne. Indeed, was the great king our first ruler who united the lands from the southern seas to the northern fields. He whose blade was the death of a thousand foes and each king thereafter followed the tradition, slaying dragons, hunting down necromancers, and exterminating legions of goblins and rats. Thus, each in their time came to be known as Great. But our good King Leonard was born to hard times. The necromancers of old had long since been vanquished, and the rats had grown small and pitiful. And as he grew older, our king came to fear the worst, that his portrait might never hang in the hall of the great king. Though he had yet to prove his mettle, the blood of a hero ran swift in his veins. Thus, our brave king, in his wisdom, determined that he would summon up the most terrible baron of hell. For indeed, all of Ardania would sing the praises of any mortal who could slay such a beast. And so, applying all their skill and concentration, the court mages performed the terrible ritual. And the demon lord did appear. Leonard never wavered, but stood locked in his deadly contest for five long days. But alas, in the end, the demon beast prevailed. And so that spawn of hell took Leonard's place on the throne. Since then, many princes and dukes have perished in futile effort to destroy the beast. Darkness and despair have fallen over our day. But now I have found you, your majesty. The last heir of the great king's bloodline. You, our only hope. Your kingdom awaits you, sire. All right, as I was saying, this is a game that was published by Paradox. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite of all time. I actually kind of prefer the first Majesty game, but this one's a little bit easier to get into and definitely easier to show off. So we're not going to do the tutorial mission because I know Good how to play. Good morning, your majesty. Still an early riser, I see. I have news for you while we wait for your breakfast. Yesterday, after you retired, I continued negotiation with the head of the local merchants guild. Well, the guild is ready to sign a trade agreement with you. Believe me, sire, the kingdom needs this. There are certain concessions that need to be met, but the investment is well worth it. Soon, a steady stream of gold will flow into your treasury. Ah, your breakfast has arrived. Well, the details will wait. Bon appetit, sire. I, I really love the narrator. <laughs> but basically, what we're majesty. going to do... Your majesty, to develop trade, you need to build the marketplace first. While your peasants are working... And basically, for this mission, we just got to go get some trade. So in order to do that, we need to build an economy uh, and have some heroes. So I'm going to build a marketplace, which is 
is going to be built by the peasants who walk around and build things. And will give us potions and things we can sell to our adventurers. I'm also going to build a couple of towers. Because towers will spawn some guards who are pretty strong. Uh, they're not heroes. They don't have levels. They don't buy anything. They're just part of the town. And then uh, I'm also going to go ahead and build a few buildings, starting with a few military buildings, starting with the Rogues Guild. Oops, I didn't mean to do that twice. Uh, and then also the Rangers Guild, and then finally the Warriors Guild, and we'll do the Clerics Guild later. Uh, rogues are really weak health-wise, but have strong attacks and give you access to an ability that allows you to collect taxes um, at a fee. Normally you have a tax collector that'll walk around and gather taxes from the houses and the buildings and then they have to walk back to the palace or a tower to turn it in and that's how you make money. But they can be killed. So if you need money really badly you can pay the rogues guild to extort people. But the rogues are also really curious and they like money so they're good at getting money for you. Rangers are really curious and they explore a lot and they're good at killing things from range. They have bows. Uh, and warriors are very defensive. That's why we like them. They're also the tanks when you're able to party up later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and research some stuff and speed up a little bit. I don't like to play at the slowest speed. You can get three people or get extortion. Try to get some rangers up so they can start exploring the map a little bit. Which can be dangerous sometimes on some missions, but this one's fine. Okay, as you can see, we're just waiting for the tax collectors to walk around and gather the money. You'll see them. They have little... They carry little sacks. We already got a ranger that's exploring. We got some skeletons attacking our towers, but the towers shoot arrows. And they also have the the guards, which are nice. We're gonna try to get out some warriors. And this is a really simple mission. Not many things come and attack you here. Uh, so let's speed up just a little bit, and then we'll play it probably times two speed. But when I'm trying to get money or anything, I like to speed up. We can buy services. We're going to try to get poison oil so that we can, uh, our people can kind of like quote unquote enchant their weapons with poison, right? For a fee, which also gives us more money. All right, and as you can see, I don't control anybody. I just build the town and we can place flags like this. And if you put money on it, it'll make the heroes more likely to go and explore or attack or defend. And our poor ranger almost died there. And as you can see here, how they level up is by attacking. So when they hit something with their weapon, they gain experience. And so at low level, they gain quite a bit of experience. Very easy to level. And I believe max level is 20. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take out this bear den because it's going to keep spawning bears, which will be a pain for when we need to trade. So... I'm actually going to bring up the last military building, which is the Cleric's Guild. And Cleric's Heal. Understandable, right? Okay. Really, the last thing we can build is the statue. Oh, I forgot the blacksmith. The blacksmith allows you to research upgrades that your uh, heroes can purchase, such as armor and weapon upgrades, which is also important. I'm just going to plop that down. The heal ability from the Claire's Guild allows me to heal people at the cost of money. Directly. But I always forget to use it. <laughs> so we'll see about that. And clerics are really good at healing and also dealing damage to undead. So... Just buying new services for these. 
These guys like to purchase weapons and things. So, all right, let's go ahead and try to deal with this. We're gonna offer a bounty. See if any brave adventurers take us up on this offer. Looks like we have a warrior, a level one warrior with no healing potions. He's not gonna last very long. Anybody else coming? Let's add to the bounty. So now anybody who kills this will get a share of 400 gold divided equally. And clerics are pretty brave despite not doing any damage unless you upgrade them. This cleric may actually die. She's out of mana. Boom. <laughs> Poor girl. Warriors can take a beating, but without potions, yeah. Can't survive that. So we're just going to... We might as well just resurrect these guys. Once they die, they spawn a graveyard. And you can resurrect them. It just costs more depending on how high level they are. Looks like they're going to deal with this bear den finally. Still no potions. Uh, skeleton archer is going to be a big problem for warriors that have no potions because they can attack at range. There we go. Now they have a nice bit of money. They can go back and buy some upgrades if they want. Just like you would if you were playing an RPG, right? And here we finally upgraded the cleric's building, so... Cleric's guild, so we can go ahead and uh, give them an ability that is an attack. Which is really powerful against the undead. We can upgrade the warriors... And we can upgrade the Rangers Guild so we can get them their ability. And finally, we're going to build a statue, which is supposed to make your heroes more energetic or something. I don't know. We need to take care of some more bear dens, so let's do that. Oh, that poor uh, rogue had no chance. <laughs> That is a lot of bears. No wonder they're scared. Oh, I accidentally put that down. Get him, level four warrior. No? You would get a great reward for it if you were willing to kill the bears. Well, that is a dead cleric. See if we can resurrect that cleric. Later on we'll get even more things such as wizards, which wizards are very powerful but have like no hit points so they die instantly. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. Just upgrade our towers, we'll make them more powerful. Looks like they finally came over here and started to kill these guys. Once the rangers get a little higher level they can kill animals pretty easily. I think you can see their abilities. Let's see here, yeah. So he has a uh, large damage on all targets. Oh, he has a AOE. Ah, inflicts large damage on animals. There you go. They are animal hunters. Kind of makes sense. We're just gonna kill off these areas while also exploring some of the other areas. I'm sending out flags to see if anybody will respond. Oh, once your town grows, there also some unlimited spawning things will appear, such as sewers, which will just continuously spawn rats and dire rats. Not a big deal, but can be a pain if you're under attack from all sides. Great for leveling up low-level heroes, too, though, to be fair. And yeah, you can build more guilds, but it's really not needed for something like this. There's a maximum number of members you can, or population you can have overall. We just lose another cleric? My goodness. Let's resurrect that cleric. The reason why I explored there is because I, I actually know that 
Bear Den is there <laughs> from the last four times I've tried to record this, but had some settings wrong. So just gonna speed on through this. We're almost done. It's kind of the main mission here. All we need to do is get someone here, and then they're gonna have to defend some stuff. So I just wanted to make sure they did that. Have them explore a little bit. Then we'll have someone defend. A new quest for you, Your Majesty. And Your Majesty, the Merchants Guild reports that their representative couldn't come. A caravan of donkeys was sent instead. No, oh, no, don't be insulted, sire. It's even better this way. It's common knowledge that donkeys are the engines of commerce. Tell the heroes to protect the caravan until it reaches the palace. Yep, so we can pay, place defensive flags, which we did here. It just, over time, it pays out more and more of the gold. As, I guess it hit miles, hits milestones. And, uh... Yeah, so we could protect it. Last time I did this, it died. I've never had that happen before, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. But that's why I took out that bear den, just in case. Alright, and then the last bit of this mission is we need to build some uh, trade posts. Good news, your majesty. Plans and materials for the construction of trading posts were brought with this caravan. The Merchant's Guild made an assessment and have marked the places most suitable for trade with their caravans. It's time to make some gold, sire. Build some trading posts in those places. And we're just going to build these trading posts. They have to be built on this little land that has the caravans here. Or the carts, I should say. And I like to defend them. Until they get built, basically. Having a guardhouse outside of the trading post can be really useful to take care of passing monsters. Looks like this one didn't get built, so we'll go ahead and get that built if we can. A new building is complete. Well done, Your Majesty. The construction of the trading post is finished. Uh, is there any finer sight than a caravan laden with riches heading to market? The Merchants Guild appreciates your business and cooperation. Now, wherever you go, you shall have the best of their donkeys at your disposal, Your Majesty. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I did good. And now we can select one person to bring with us and that we can summon from a Hall of Lords on other levels. I usually do the best Ranger first because they level really quickly. And now it looks like a couple of missions opened up, just the Great Towers, the Baron's Bill. Um, let's go ahead and Your do this Majesty, one. Today you'll learn one of the main responsibilities of the king, the protection of your borders. Borders are, well, borders. Every respectable state should have them. They say good borders make good neighbors. Well, their protection is the most important task of your day. That and good grooming. Years from now, your majesty, as students gather in the classroom discussing the great rulers of Ardania, one of the questions they'll undoubtedly ask is who best defended her borders. After today, with a bit of my unparalleled advice, your name shall be at the forefront of their discussions. Three hundred years ago, hordes of minotaurs roamed these very lands, laying them to waste. One of the great kings of Ardania began construction on a series of fortifications to protect his people. Before they were completed, the Minotaurs were beaten back by heroes drawn to the lands by the scent of adventure. And so, the fortifications were left half-completed. But now, the Minotaurs have returned. Sire, 
You need to find the foundations of those guard towers and finish their construction. This will strengthen the borders and ensure the safety of your people. Reclaim the throne of Ardania, your majesty. You'll need their devotion and support. All right. A new quest for you. Get to your defend majesty. some towers. Your majesty, our archives state that fortifications were started to the north of the palace in a mountain gorge. All right, same as last time. I think time. we should search for the bases of the two unfinished towers there. The faster you find them and complete their construction, the better it will be for your kingdom. I believe we get attacked quite a bit on this map, so I think I need to have some buildings up as soon as I can. Especially towers. So we're just going to move quickly. Get our, yeah, a lot of undead. Nice map, I believe. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. Let's not get overwhelmed. Yeah, and they're preventing the building of this uh, guard tower, which is unfortunate. Looks like we're getting some people leveling up. Looks like the tower's going to go up too, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade that to a bigger tower. I feel like these undead are going to be an issue. Hmm. Speed back up again. Nothing's going on at the moment. Oh, someone's about to die. Okay, he went back to his house. Or his guild. Look, we already have a sewer. Interesting. And then we should be able to get up a cleric's guild soon. Ooh, we have some bears. Ooh, someone had some healing potions. He's undead. It'll be useful to have clerics against these undead. Un un no, excuse me. Against these undead. Look how many there are. That's a lot of undead. But the towers, coupled with the pa uh, the guards that they spawn, should be able to hold out. And the tax collectors should be able to make it to the towers. Thankfully. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's very dangerous for a level one hero to be out in that. Very dangerous. Okay, let's see here. Let's get this upgraded. Oh, it looks like we lost a ranger. Oh my goodness, attack under attack again. I might need to extort here. Until people get a little bit higher level, it can be a pain. Uh, where's the fear flag? Happy to serve. Just fear flag could be used to stop people from going in a different area. I, I know the towers are up there, so we don't want them to go up there too soon. Let's see here. What can we do? Let's get that undead killing ability. The rest of our clerics. Store it for a little bit of gold. Get pick up some mana potions. You can uh, use ends to your advantage. I don't use them a lot, especially in the earlier missions. Alright, I think we can pull out a blacksmith now. I think I want to put it on the back side of town. It seems like there's not as much going on there. 
front side of town there's a lot of undead. Look at all these layers. Can get rid of this layer. Of course, the rogues are pretty greedy, so they'll go after pretty much anything. This is what I was afraid of. These archers could be an issue. Although we do have clerics that can basically do heavily damage too, and uh, heavy damage too. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Cannot speak today. Oh, we have a Minotaur pyramid. Interesting. That should be taken care of. Minotaurs are no, no joke. Hmm, goodness. Not good. Looks like we were able to take that out. So we also need to explore up here because there's some somewhere up here there is something spawning a lot of undead. So we need to see it so we can destroy it. Like here, we can destroy this one. Okay, we got a wolf den we can take care of, but I don't think that solves our issue. here. People are taking care of that. We've gotten rid of the undead here. I wonder if we can take out this minotaur pyramid. Just get it all the way so we can start using this trading post. That'd be nice. Some warrior trying to fight this Minotaur. Doing a pretty good job, too. But of course, he has a healer. So this should be pretty easy for him. It'll be nice. Can get up a trading post for extra, extra money. Oh, of course. Wolf is just going to straight up attack. Make this much more annoying than it has to be. It looks like the minotaurs have been taken care of. Let's take care of this bear then. Everything around this trading post. Could even get this other trading post up if we can. That'd be Your nice. Majesty, the locals claim that hordes of minotaurs have been raiding their village. They say they'll lend a hand in the construction if you save them from this menace. Sire, I had no doubts about your mind. Oh. Not in well, the slightest. Go. To help mere peasants so unselfishly. That's how a true monarch should rule. I think we but killed the Minotaurs without done, knowing we needed to. They're willing to help in the construction. That's funny. I'll see to the arrangements, Your Majesty. Try my best. Wait, are we taxing them? That's hilarious. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Just gonna start killing off some of this. Ow. Clearing out these undead. We've got a lot of income coming in now. Wolves Den, they're not a big issue. This trading, even the closest trading post will still give you a pretty good amount of money.
All right, let's see here. Thought I heard something going off in the background. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot about the blacksmith. It's like there's wolves currently eating it. That's not a good thing, is it? We should be able to speed this up now. I think we're about done with all the problems on the map. Just random spawns from here on out. Alright. Well, you know what? We could now build statue. If we really want to, we can build a Hall of Lords, which will allow us to summon our ranger from the first level. And Every time you beat a level, you get to pick what new one to add into your list of lords. So I think we're ready to... Uh, okay. The flag didn't appear that time. I think we're ready to build the towers now. This appears to be the place, sire. The laborers found an image of the crown carved into the stone. You could say, your majesty, that you are literal. Oops, I didn't mean to close that out. But now we should have people coming to defend, to rebuild this. And it takes a long time, so we're just going to speed up time. That's to build a lot. But since we saved the villagers this time, it gives us a lot of extra help. We shouldn't have any issues with this. Oh yeah, it's going by really quickly. And that's all you got to do on this mission. Pretty simple. The initial waves of undead, if you don't know to build towers in your base, can be very overwhelming. Your Majesty, the fortifications have been completed. Do you know what this means? Yes, of course, peace and safety for this land, but that's not the main thing. The towers symbolize your wisdom, power, and benevolence. I think the villagers have promised to name them after you. As long as they shall stand, you will be remembered. And that's it. Mission successful. And I think I'll pull out a warrior for this one. And that's all we're going to do today. Um, take, I just wanted to take a look at the first couple of levels. Uh, next time we'll do the Baron's Bill and start heading into some more difficult levels, such as killing dragons. It's the same thing. It's just uh, the conceit is the same throughout all of the levels. It's just you get more difficult enemies. Sometimes there's something like, you know, a giant that falls asleep and then wakes up and destroys a lot of things and then falls asleep again and you have to level up enough to be able to fight it and kill it. Sometimes there's enemy wizards or towns you have to kill. It's a very fun game though and I highly recommend it. I really wish they would revive the series, um, but I doubt that'll happen. Uh, but that's okay. That's all for this one. Uh, a little bit short, but uh, we'll pick it up and we'll do two or three next time uh, real soon. Uh, thank you guys for joining me here with uh, Majesty 2 and uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Fictionology out.